the breezes that blow through the treeses, that lift the skirts above the kneeses, that reveals the spots that spread diseases. Oh, what a snatch. Down, Down the hatch. hatch. Yes. Got to love it. Woo! Mm. Uh, damn, that's good. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls in that Technicolor rainbow between us, your boy Trey Proper. It's your boy Big Herb. And Mr. Pitty. Still saying it. <sighs> How? Can't <laughs> 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 Thank you guys for joining us once again on Blurs and Whiskey Live on Twitch. We got a very, very special show. We are not social distancing, as you can see. Um, <laughs> but, you, no, you know what else we're going to be doing? Come Having ready. slideshows, because I didn't get a chance to make the slideshows. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, we do another acoustic show. Uh, One person that didn't shit. introduce themselves was off camera guy. He is literally off the camera. You only going to see the side of his head. Just, um, like, just like the old days. Exactly. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, we got a great show lined up for you. Let's uh, go around the table and see what everybody's drinking. I'm definitely yeah, social yeah. distancing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. you. Oh, what's up? I got you. My bad. I right. am. I, yeah, you want to put your head down, dude. <laughs> Scoot up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. And Thank you guys who are tuning in, you're listening. Uh, you heard the intro that's done by the original, the OG, Papa Royal. In the house is here with us today. And, and we are, uh, what's that? <laughs> We're shooting live here on, uh, what do you want to call this place? Casa del Bridges. There we go. All right. So. Hey, you have a bad Casa del Blurds. You got a bad habit of skipping over our guests, man. That's yeah. like, my bad, like, my bad. Guests in a row I get here. it. They try to be ignoring the shit out of our guests, man. That shit crazy. <laughs> I guess wow. so rude. Like, so, I, 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 I get I get excited and I get involved and then you know I try to get things going and I move faster. What did you do now? Champagne and Jaeger. <laughs> Learn wow. about it. Okay. Yes. Learn about it. Can you spell <laughs> diabetes? So, <laughs> and y'all just heard from the intro. Out. We bring the old intro back, which means we also got what? Like how many times you here now? Like, this is my third, third third time. Third time? Yeah. No, fourth, fourth, fourth. Twice. So, so it's got to be the record now. Maybe yes now. Yeah. Yeah, because you guys are no longer guests. You guys are. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you already got a T-shirt. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. so once again, we like to you know bring back proper royal. It was a surprise to us all, but what a wonderful surprise. It's all pleasant. Hey, you know. I love being here, man. I love the energy. We love having you here. We yeah. love when you do that that intro live. That's my favorite part. Yeah. Um, but uh, and I do apologize for skipping over you. My bad. It's my fault. But speaking of alcoholic beverages, we have a plethora around us right now. Let's go around the horn to see what everybody's drinking. Uh, we know what you're drinking already. Yeah. I do yeah. want to try that. That does yeah. sound good. Minus the diabetes, Mr. Mm-hmm. Petty, what are you drinking? Uh, I'm drinking Jameson and I borrowed a bo- uh, play from uh, Maestro's book and I put Red Bull in it, which is going to go really well with the pills I'm taking. So, oh. yeah, let's uh, <laughs> <there it is. laughs> Did he say Jameson and Red Bull? And Red, yeah. It's not bad. And, and, it's, and pills, we call it a roofie colada. <laughs> we it's it's called I Don't Want to Feel No More. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, a Brian Pillman special. It's not regular. <laughs> not regular oh, shit. Jameson. It's actually. Oh, shit. Oh, God, no. Damn it. It's Jameson IPA. <laughs> oh, wow. I've been watching a lot of it's 80s wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I can't stand y'all. Oh, you got? If that son of a bitch comes in here, I'm not sure. Sorry. You <laughs> said so, Brian, so Brian Pillman and took him back. Yeah. <laughs> so, me and Papa Roy were drinking Johnny Walker Black Label. And as always, on on the rocks. Great drinks, great drinks. Yeah. Every oh. time I come to this show, I only bring scotch. Scotchy so. scotch, scotch. Hey, I love it. I'm not Hey. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> so, we could just like beat that out there or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> we were live. We're live on Twitch. We're, we're There's still still no live. editing this. We're still live. Let's, let's we're very live. live. What else um, we got? Well, let's get into these yeah. church announcements. Okay. Oh, wow. So, you going to save the church after that? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Unlike you, we still got a show to do. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, um, starting off, um, Ice Key. I, Ice Key. Wow. Ice Cube Give is me pushing. Give me the box. Yeah. Give me the box. I'm just. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Ice Cube is pushing for Black America, but apparently, some people think it's the wrong look. Ice Cube is allowing himself to be manipulated. <sighs> Ice Cube has been Ice Cube, Diddy, Charlemagne, a couple other people have running around talking about this contract with Black America in order to secure the Black vote. But Ice Cube and his 
big brain plays, I guess, that he's trying to make reached out to both the Democrats and the Republicans, and the Republicans were the only ones to respond back. But oh of my course goodness. they're using him as a tool to try and manipulate people and try and say, look, we got one of your guys on our side, so you guys come on over to us. So, so my quick opinion on this is he's trying to do the right thing. We understand he, I'm not a lot of people try to cancel him already. A lot of people are like trying to like shun him, call him a sellout, a coon, and all this stuff. I'm like that's not quite the the label I would give him. He's he's doing the right things, but he's with the wrong people. And in his mind, he's not affiliated with any party. He's just uh, he just wants to get the job done. So I understand that, especially coming from someone who works in the music industry. You work with a lot of people that you don't want to work with because you're just trying to get the job done. So I see that for Q, what he's trying to do. The problem is he's not a politician. So you got like legislators, senators, uh, politics, uh, and all these other people who come. To try with more intelligence, who went to school for this stuff? Not more intelligence. Okay, who's went to school for this stuff? Who's had experience more, in, yeah, in more the politics? Experience. But what I'm trying to say is, who is he listening to? Kanye West, uh, Ice Cube, like I mean, like meet meet with some actual Kim Kardashian. Kim difference. Kardashian, like he's he's he, I mean, it makes sense too. He's a celebrity who's in politics, yeah, working with celebrities she, in politics. Yeah. So. Well, I mean, Kim Kardashian convinced him to do a couple of pardons, so. I guess that's score one for the good guys. So. You know yeah. what? I watched this. No, 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 no. Y'all ain't ready for OCG yet. Sides. You know, he, he, he said that I'm putting this, I, I approach the Republicans and the Democrats. But I think the Democrats feel like they're running on a strong enough base where they really didn't need him. He actually end up inadvertently, it's the law of unintended consequences. He end up helping Donald Trump more than, than, than he did the Democrats, that's for sure. Yeah, right. I saw what he was trying to do, I, you know, but the road to hell is paved with good intentions. Mm -hmm. You know, so he end up, it, it, and I don't think he deserves the backlash that he's getting because his intention was to do, do was to work with yeah. both sides, right. you know. Yes. But I do know he's, a, he's also attached himself with the Eidos movement as well. Um, and so I think there's going to be some backlash on that as well. You know, because everybody doesn't believe in the ADOS movement. Mm. Or so I mean, the main problem is he's only looked into politics or the whole government and legislations and everything like that for like the past. His like, wife has few, accomplished more than A few than minutes. Him. I mean, a few months. That's mm. it. That's like trying to cram for a test and then trying to like. You talking about Ice Cube? Ice Cube. Yeah, okay. he's only, he's only been doing this for like a couple of months just to just to get he, this thing. Has he, you ever actually read it? It's twenty three pages. I didn't. I haven't read it. Yet. <laughs> but be that as it may. I, I, got, I don't need Be that as it may. What? Ultimately, Republican, Democrat, no matter what, neither one came up with a plan. He at least presented a plan. Yeah. He's done way more with presenting a plan than a lot of people have done in the last couple of decades. And I give him that too. So I mean, he's at least trying. Hold and on, for hold people on, to hold on, I'm sorry. Who is he? I ask you. Okay, no, because like what the context of what we're speaking, and you just using that general term of he. It could sound like oh. you're backing the wrong. Oh no, 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 no. So yeah, be more no, no. What all specifically I'm saying, Ice Cube. Okay, be yeah, specifically be more specific Ice Cube. Saying, He's, he he presented and he he actually had an interview with uh with the Breakfast Club about six or seven months ago where he was talking about this at the beginning of the pandemic when they were when they were speaking yeah. about what we wanted from 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 uh the Democratic Party because we're not we're not a uh, Black people are a monolith. We don't all think the same, mm -hmm. but we do have to. We have to get something out of this. We've been getting nothing. We got nothing from Obama. You know, we got nothing. We definitely didn't get anything from Trump. Like, come on now. What, yeah, no, no. What's up? Off, off camera, camera guy. guy. <laughs> stay off camera though. <laughs> exactly. You keep popping up. Baby. I'm gonna stay off camera though. Can y'all hear me? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Hear me. Don't say Obama didn't do it because. I wouldn't be literally standing here if it weren't for Obamacare. Like it was. He also did help the economy. He he did help. He economy. helped the economy. All right, let me. No, let me he. Speak my forward. children. Come on now, your children have the opportunity. So, so so I think the problem that people expected out of Obama is all right. We're live. I don't care. People, but if he, when, oh no, when Obama got elected, we thought we were going to have white slaves. We thought we were going to be like, <laughs> no, seriously, people thought that Obama wow. was going to be the second coming of Jesse Jackson, and we're going to like, that's the not, same that was Jesse, what, what is what what Jesse no, Jackson? No, but what I'm trying to say is that people thought that Obama was going to be like the answer to right. everything that we went wrong with black people. Some people did. Yeah, and, that, and so when people say Obama didn't do anything for black people, that's what they're really referring to. But but we always have to understand that he's a politician, and he exactly. had, and he's not just the president for 
what I said. Yes. He was the president for everything. Every yeah, I, exactly. Let me tell you what I got upset about with the Obama thing is that we should have been had somebody as, as African Americans. We should have been had somebody in power mm-hmm. uh, a long time ago. And it took a black man to run to make everybody come out and vote. And then as soon as he wasn't running again, everybody decided yes, not to vote exactly. even. And that's how we ended up with Well, Papa Roy. Papa Roy. Yes, sir. Tell me. Sure. You didn't believe. Can they hear? Can yeah, they, yeah. Hear? Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Tell me you didn't believe if y'all even tried to elect a black man. We we tried. He was going to die in office. Oh, no, well, he, I mean, he messed up. He was story. going to die in office. A, a lot of people not. believe that yes, he would be a, a, a victim of an assassination. Had it happened in the seventies. I need to, I need I need to hear you speak on that, brother. Yeah, yeah. I need you to speak on that. Yeah, no, if if he was um. If he'd have been, um, if we'd have had a black president in the seventies, yeah, we're good as far as camera. I can see myself. Uh, if we'd have had a black president in the seventies, uh, sure there was a thought because we had the last one that was the last assassination big time that happened was in sixty eight with King. So if you, uh, yeah, uh, no, uh, what's you're that? Talking what, about presidential? Well, not, not, no, we're no, talking no, about no, a no, public no, figure. No, uh, no, uh, yeah, of us. Black uh, you know, was 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 King in '68. Okay, and, and yes, I was around in those times. Um, so we hadn't seen anybody like that in that long. So if you'd have said in the '70s, it, it would have been only five, six, seven years. Sure, that was in the picture. But as we came into the '80s, the '90s, and the 2000s, mm-hmm. you know, we had viable candidates who would once if they'd have had. The, the financial the background, background and the political clout. Now the, the like, problem like, is, like like who, sir? I'm sorry, I'm not. Oh, God, I don't I, I don't mean to challenge yeah, you. Yeah, so yeah, we're, 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 I just need you to give me. We're not. You know what? We say that, but Pete Game, Pete Game. No, 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 Pete Game. It's not a challenge. You know, it's all love. We're all family. It's not a challenge. But at the same time. We yeah. could have definitely had a better moderator. Right. Yeah. So, at all of the. So in conclusion, the we're, we don't need Ice Cube. I'm still going to listen to his music. Yeah. Um. Well, that, the next, that's not the fucking police. Keep on going. Uh, Michael stop! B. Stop fucking the police, because uh, it makes more I'm, noise. I know, man. It's just like I'm, it's I'm just. Being, I'm being heard. Let's move forward. Michael B. Jordan is set to EP the live action version of Static. What's you guys thoughts on that? Greatness. Let's move on because we spent 40 minutes on the first <laughs> Coming to America, by part way, two. By the way, it's static, not static shock. Yeah. Go. <laughs> Coming to America 2 was bought out uh, from by Amazon from, uh, what's his name? Uh, forget it. Uh, uh, Amazon bought them for one, the, the actual movie for $125 million and it's set to come out December the 18th, I believe. Got a whole sure, yeah, it'll be up on Amazon. I got a question though. So did did who produced it? Like Eddie Murphy. Oh, Eddie Murphy Eddie raised the money for it. Uh-huh. And he shot he Paramount, uh, they shot Paramount like, back to him. They shot it. They sold it to Amazon. That's the way that's the new by the way, that's gonna be the new way movie theaters will be gone by the year 2023. Yo, Herb got go straight to video on demand and streaming services. Move on. Man, Herb got, got so movie. mad at me. Herb got so mad at me when he found out that I didn't see uh, Dolomite. Yeah, I, I'm, the, I, I, I'm still... Then me mad at Dad because I ain't seen it either. <laughs> Seriously. Right, Move, so. Moving forward, <laughs> and speaking of movies, AMC is, because they're struggling in the midst of COVID, they are uh, renting out the whole entire theater for $99. Multiple theaters. Multiple theaters. Yeah, and, still, uh, and what, what the hell are they going to rent those out for? I want to know. If you want to go see Tenet with all of your friends. Yeah. <laughs> Because, or, or because wait, wait, wait! I, th- I thought I thought Tenet came out. I thought Tenet came out. It's a joke. It I'm joking. It's a joke. If y'all gonna see it, let's play ninety nine dollars. Let's be so sad. Let's all break up a hundred dollars and go see me. I think it's gonna be it'll be for kids. You know, you'll have birthday parties there with movies. They are all immune. Fuck that. Just pay ninety nine dollars and throw all the kids in. Oh, I I think you know, I think. Uh, Rick, I'm with you when, I, when you said that. I don't think the theaters are going to be around in, in a couple of years. You know, because the one thing about this COVID thing is like, my son will tell you, I go to ball games all the time. I mean, I go to a lot of ball games. And I'm surprised how I don't miss it as much. You know, I, it's, it's crazy when you don't got to pay $20 for a hot dog when you can sit in your own damn and, house. Hey, and you know, now, see, let me tell you something. My grandson and this young man's son, he's the most expensive date I've ever taken to a ball game. Okay? Because. <laughs> 
Cause he's always granddad can I can and you I was talking so nothing. I can't say no. <laughs> okay, so so I was just surprised how uh, how much I don't miss that. And I think the same things with movies. You know, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm I watch I got a nice big TV at home, surround sound, yeah. and the popcorn is cheaper. And they, and you know mm-hmm. what? They serve scotch at my movie theater. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, what, what, what else is good is nothing is better than Netflix and chilling. Yeah, yeah. and your own shit. Or the next one, your next <laughs> one goes into that, correct? Yes, uh, because Regal is closing down 500 theaters. Mm-hmm. Didn't you mm-hmm. work there? Like yeah, the, I used to work at. I used to work at I'm, I, I'm pretty sure the one that Shai used to work at is on the list. Yeah. <laughs> the one in Bowie. Yeah, yeah, it's on the list. Uh, oh, the one by the Friday? Hey, that's close. You just made the list. Yes. Wow. For those of you not familiar, the one that's in Bowie on Bowie. Don't, Bowie don't, Bowie don't, don't, don't. Why not? Why Give them details. Okay. Why you asking them details? Sorry. Dude, just sit up. We can't see you. The camera's fine. Yeah. I'm sorry. Moving, I gotta say. Moving forward. Don't touch camera no more. Uh, Trey. Yo. It's supposed to be a actual new thing that's going on in the new Spider-Man game. You know oh, yeah. On? So, there's um the next Spider-Man game, Spider-Man Miles Morales, who don't know, he's the Afro-Latina version of Spider-Man from the Ultimate Universe 16... 6? 16? Ultimate Universe, Ultimate Ultimate Universe, Universe. whatever. Um, what? 616 is the regular Marvel one. Yes, yeah. it is. Okay, so 1610 is, is the ultimate. Anyway, but uh, there's going to be a feature in the game where he actually has a pet kitten wearing a spider mask. The cat's name is Spider-Man, too. Oh, my God. It's awesome. <laughs> like, awesome. I can't wait to play. I am. I, wanted, I wish we did. Because they have a Miles Morales PlayStation 5. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I have to get it. Yeah, that's, I have to that's get it. Now, no, I'm not asking a girlfriend to get it for me. Like, Bruh, yeah, I'm, gonna get, I'm gonna get it too. I gotta have a PS5. Bro, the, the clip of the cat helping me Miles me. Morales fight crime is the cutest, greatest shot. I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> because he webs this guy. Did you just and say then, cutest? Yes. It's, 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 it's cute as shit. You yeah. gotta see it. Yeah. Like, yeah. it like, yeah. like, yeah. like, yeah. No, I, I don't like cats. Well, well, well I do like them. You don't like cat cats? You know what? I like cats. Cook slowly. Okay. Chill hey, out. Chill out. <laughs> so, so basically, you're saying you, you like hello, cat. Oh, I, I don't. I'm not a cat guy. I, you know what? I'm just. I'm not a cat person. So. I like animals in general. But yeah. yeah. No. It's, it's just an added feature that's gonna be coming to the game. Yeah. It's gonna add a couple of things to it. Miles Morales has a different class. Of, he has the same powers as Spider Man, but he also has a different class. So it's gonna be. It's gonna be fun to see yeah. how they change things now, up in this next. I got. A, I got a blurred question. Miles Morales is that the the, the main character from the animated? Um, yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. One yeah. of wait the anime. Never mind. Into the Spider Verse. Yeah, Spider-Verse. into the Spider. Yeah. I couldn't remember the name, but yes, I saw. I saw yeah, the movie. It's awesome. And, and no, that's coming out with the second movie. That I can't wait. I cannot wait. Yeah, I'm wait. actually looking forward to that. But also, uh, also no, moving on to another video game, GTA has some leaks. So apparently there was a leak online. Did they leak number six yet? <laughs> G- oh, I'm sorry. Before you get to before, before you get to there, GTA oh, Five has been on like what Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, and now PlayStation 5. But, but, but it's yeah. funny. It's funny that you say it is. It's funny that you say that because her said GTA Five. That's how long GTA Five has been out. That now it's gone from just being GTA to GTA Five. But the leak isn't regarding GTA Six. And the map for Miami. Uh, it's the same company that. It's the same. Okay, so we're moving tables and I have more legs. Think moving the whole damn table. So it is. It is the same company that leaked the map for GTA 5 with the San uh, San Andreas map has leaked uh, the map for a fucking map. It, it's just all. GTA, GTA yeah. 6. Just, yeah, GTA, just GTA, give GTA, GTA the mic. GTA 6 is going to be in Vice City, and it's all about Miami. Move yeah. on to the next one. Jeez. Move on to the next one. Nigga, Skyrim has been on yeah. refrigerators. I don't play Skyrim. Yeah. Yeah. What? Not Skyrim is awesome. It was. Hush, nerd. Yeah. <laughs> Get out. So. Words <laughs> <laughs> and whiskey. Yeah. So, Ludacris uh, has teamed up with Netflix uh, for his daughter's uh, new CG cartoon called Karma's World. It's based on a actual uh, teenage. Is she uh, like 12 25 year. now? No, she's like. He got like 12. Wow. It's like 12 to 13. He got like three or four. Dollars. Yeah. I mean, I understand, yeah. but. So, is the theme song for the show going to be Move, bitch? Oh, wow. <laughs> it should be. Jesus <laughs> Christ, man. And I'm the one y'all was worried about? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, yes. yeah, we definitely. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah, know what? Shout out to Luda. Luda. <laughs> Let's just move on. <laughs> Luda got chicken and beer. I got champagne and Jaeger, bitch. <laughs> hold up. Hold fast. Wait, wait. All right. Hold up. Wait. Wait. Stop. 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 Hold fast. Off camera. Hold fast. Hold fast. Off camera guy was trying to avoid Ray J shit. Okay. <laughs> Don't call me out for that type of shit. What I was trying to, I was trying to tell him to stop. Leave me alone. <laughs> Y'all literally who that? OCG moving cameras. Oh my goodness. So hold on. Shout out, shout out to Cheese and Guys. One for that great comment. And two, oh yeah, for the good. For the good oh, oh share the comment. I didn't, I didn't see it. Okay, yeah, oh, oh, OCG's yeah. moving the camera around like Ray J is moving his hat. <laughs> and also, also, shout out to Cheesy Fries for the for the vodka gummy uh, recipe too. Yeah, you yeah. got to break down on those. Yeah, you, you got to share those, y'all. But yeah, that's that's the church now. And Fad, don't good. judge me. <laughs> Living my life. Oh, you realize this show didn't turn into just the church announcements, right? Yeah. No. So, hey, hey, hey. All right. We got 40 minutes. Let's stop touching the camera. This is our first time being together in how long? I, I just that. want you to stop touching the camera. Please stop. It's become a ticket this point. <laughs> <laughs> no. Like, it's just a ticket. It's going to be business, man. You know what? I know this is my son's new house, but you got to have some duct tape somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> it's legitimately like every 20 seconds you just see. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! Shut up! Can you say OCD? Yeah, we. Oh my god. Big fucking surprise! I work with kids like this all the time. I really do, and you know, it's it's okay. It's okay. We're not gonna judge. We might have to use OCD. I've heard heard several of the words of an educator all day long. We, we still got we still got two more. Come on, we still got, just do um, it. I, I'll pick it up from here. So, um, congratulations to the Lakers on the big win. Yeah, 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 yeah. bubble, whatever, whatever. Yeah, King James, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, wait, 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 we'll, we'll get to that. Uh, also, the boys finished their, their third season. Oh, oh second season. Second season. Oh, season, second season. I'm sorry. Season. I just saw the other day. Oh, oh my god, it's so good. This <laughs> is so good. Can, can we expand on this, or are we moving forward? Yes, we can expand. We can on expand on this. On this. Listen, it's nothing I enjoy more than an old school stomping out. <laughs> Especially when you stomping out Nazis. <laughs> <laughs> they, they stomp her ass out. I want somebody to make a cut of that with stomp them in the nuts. <laughs> you I, I want to her break them all. Stomp. Stomp. <laughs> they can be done. <laughs> can be done. I'm, just, I'm just saying, that's why I put it out there in the universe. Hey, somebody, if you touch that camera again, you want to leave it. stomp it. Now, if we say something while we give the spoiler, but they, you should have saw about that. You should have saw about that. Oh, I love the fact that the kid was the one that did it, okay? Of course, mom got caught up in the crossfire, but hey, shit happens, you know what I mean? So, oh, that's right. You like, you love Superman. Oh, yeah, no, I, I, well, I think he's better than Batman, as well, but we're going to start that fight later, okay? Because <laughs> I can look at Trey's face right now and go, like, for real, dude? <laughs> hey, man, you know, if Batman had prepped so that, he took your homeland. You started a trend. You started a trend because me and Cam all day are just looking for Batman slander. Okay. <laughs> okay. See, my thing is this. If, if Superman had Batman's money, he could be Batman and Superman, but Batman will never have Superman strength, ability to fly, to do all the, the, the heat vision, uh, the the, uh, the, the low zero breath. I mean, ain't, you know, Batman, Batman doesn't even need real villains. Oh, wait, 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 w
one motherfucker was like, he just be out there beating up the mentally ill. Yeah, same guy. I'm still saying that. He practiced but, karate on the mentally ill. Real quick, just, just looking at the comments, here comes fucking Horace again. He's had like, problems a few times. Shut the fuck up, Horace! No one cares! And just so you know, Horace, every time he had powers, he always gives him away because he's like, huh. I can't handle this. What? <laughs> he, he, he created something that gave him, he created the fucking Mobius chair that gave him all of his powers. Oh, look at that. A billionaire wants to be fucking God. Shut up, Horace! <laughs> he didn't create the Morbius chair. Mobius chair. <sighs> Whatever, I don't care. He Nobody acquired. said he created it. <laughs> anyway, he said he uh, gained it. Oh, he acquired it? He acquired it. Like anyway. white people acquired America. So I wanted to... <laughs> no, he's got a point there. Got him he's again. Batman <laughs> is a colonizer. Hmm. <laughs> as you can see, as you can see, we all have very, very out, oh, you know, shit. outspoken personalities, different traits among us, amongst the core team, even our guests. Um, I wanted to introduce something to the fans that could possibly take place with us. Mm-hmm. If you want, you can participate in this. On the fan page, I was thinking, list or take a picture of the Pokemon you think each member of the cast associates best with. Okay. Uh, Hold on a second. I got to say this. What? If any of you motherfuckers say I look like Snorlax, Damn fuck it. y'all. I was going to no, say. No, no. I was Damn it. So therefore. No, no, no. Herb's. Hey, 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 yo. Herb's lost weight, yo. Don't. Yeah. No, 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 no. Here's what I'm going to say. Barbara Streisand effect. <laughs> the fact that he's gonna tell people, do not do this to I me. I told you. Yeah, no, now I'll stop it. it. Now they're gonna do it. Yes. So, so here's the thing. I, I, I don't know. I'll, you know what? I don't know any of the Pokemon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, cool, it's, cool, it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. I'm leaving somewhere. I'm leaving somewhere. I got it. I got it. I got this. I got this. I got this. So, um, basically, based on our personalities, our looks, whatever have you, but I will agree the fact that he has been doing great. On his weight loss journey, he's lost how many pounds so far? Twelve. Lost twelve pounds so far. Twelve more pounds. Twelve more pounds. I'm yeah. sorry, not just on total, but you've been you're slimming now. You're looking damn good, my friend. You're working and hard. You're doing bro. that. You know, Transition, damn <laughs> bitch. <laughs> you're doing that with the help of what? Venus fits. <laughs> and how can our friends out there in Twitch land? Get their hands on some so, of that Phoenix Fit. In order to go on and get your Phoenix Fit, be sure to go on blursandwhiskey.com, go into the sponsor area, and go ahead and... <laughs> You're just yelling <laughs> in my <laughs> ear right now. Okay. Go, <laughs> go to the sponsor section and go ahead. S-E-X blurred 6 9 <laughs> Hold up, wait. Oh, like yeah. Stop, Stop. But I was Stop. I, I was the guy y'all worried about for real. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we but hey, hey, we hey, you work. talk you talk about S and X. What else we got? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Rick, what do you I don't know what your transition game is. I took the I used the I used the uh the, the gift set that you bought me for Christmas. Mm-hmm. Uh but the, you know, right there. Yeah, I know I'm giving you yeah, okay. Right. It didn't even yeah. work, yo. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. 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 But uh yeah, so throwback show of the week. Uh let's go back to Nickelodeon. No. Huh? No throwback show of the week this week. We don't have any slash shows. We don't have any we, 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 we got, got this. <laughs> so they know what's yeah, going we, on. They're they're they're, they're, uh, they're, they're familiar you. with our with our so yeah mindset. Go, go back show of the week is our real monsters. Yeah, yeah. Ickis, Crumb, Oblina, and it was what, just those three. No, I don't remember the, the boss. Name. The uh, Grumble. Uh, he was kind of Snoop Dogg. Whatever. That, that show was actually pretty good back in the day. You had 
you know, just, just it was a great show. I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Crumb was my favorite character. Yeah. He's just a short, stout monster with eyeballs in his hands. Oh, yeah. So, odd real monsters. Um, that wasn't really uh, scary or anything like that yeah, for us. Know. But um, speaking of scary, um, our character of the week has definitely features with a lot with uh, the topic of Halloween, which is fear. Uh, so we can go ahead and roll that, you know, nice little petty 3000 footage. Wait, I haven't turned the mic off yet. So, haven't turned the mic turn it off yet. <laughs> character of the week so today's character of the week is dr jonathan crane also known as the scarecrow a bullied child and abused kid he grew up with his obsession of fear he later learned to use it as a weapon against others it led him to his calling as a psychologist and of all places, a psychologist at Arkham Asylum, torturing patients and running experiments. He also worked at Gotham University, but he lost his job there, and he seeks revenge on the professor, um, thus becoming the Scarecrow. That was pretty much his origin. He's an expert in psychology and biochemistry. He utilizes fear-inducing gas and toxins that causes his victims to suffer from nightmaric hallucinations. Probably the most retcon character of all of DC. He's been in Batman since the 40s. He's reappeared in the 60s, but he got popular in the Batman animated series as one of his first villains. He also was played in the movies by Cillian Murphy uh, in the Batman Nolan verse. The self-proclaimed master of fear's ability, it, he can affect even metahumans like Superman, Martian Manhunter. You know what? After those two, it's pretty much a wrap for the rest of DCU. So here's to you, Scarecrow, the character of the week for Shocktober. Alright, back to you guys. You speak. Yes. Okay, so uh, sorry about that. A little te technical difficulty there for a second. But yeah, Scarecrow, he, you know, he honestly scared the shit out of me as a little kid. You know, he didn't get really scary until like the latest of the Batman, the one with the Avengers of Batman and Robin, where he was oh, just yeah. nothing but like a maggot. Uh, yeah. Like he had a noose yeah. around his yeah. neck and he had a, that's when he started using the scythe more. I, don't, I think it was just the crooked teeth hey, and the this, yellow eye. I don't know. His positions in Arkham Asylum were fucked oh, up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love that. Oh, yeah. I love that. When he grows yeah. to like 50 feet tall and it's just like he's got this, this fear toxin and syringes. When you like, walk Freddy through Parker a cloud of smoke and you have no idea what's going on. Yeah. Exactly. Because the game has been feeding you clouds of smoke the entire time yes yeah. or the fact you know oh. it's funny like in the comments i didn't realize that his his fear toxins even affects metahumans so it affects people like superman and martian manhunter i'm like what the yeah, fuck is batman doing yeah. right <laughs> <laughs> but you know batman's gotta be mainlining all the toxins from different poison ivy scarecrow joker well, he, he is a one percenter, so he's mainlining Adderall. There it is. Also, Batman loves cocaine. Uh, <laughs> Batman, you remember, Batman actually does inject himself with venom all the damn time. Mm. No. Wait, what, what? What? No. So, so speaking no, of no, no, so no, so no, 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 not. The Marvel. We know Bane. I, I know Bane. Yeah, I know We're Bane. Hitting. Like, no, that's not something he injects. He's done it a couple of times, but not all. The yeah, we're not gonna get into the Batman content. No. Yeah. yeah. The Batman we, content. We, we, we have to stick to our topic. Yeah, we will. So, so, because uh, he's not a superhero. So he's. <laughs> 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 that's so, now so, what this show is about today, guys. <laughs> so, so, so speaking of the base, we've already done the Batman yeah. and where the yeah. Batman yeah. is. Yeah. And stuff. Great transition. So, so speaking of the base. We gotta, since we mentioned earlier about how the Lakers won and, and whatnot. Yeah, um, won a 17 Don't, don't use this for fans. Yeah, so let's uh, go ahead and... Uh, let's don't go ahead. use this for our next sponsor, please. Let's go ahead and no, do, do no, our next uh, no. battle here. Uh, We're going to uh, have our next debate, yeah. and I'm going to speak on why LeBron James is the greatest of all time. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. You can come at me with all your Michael Jordan this and your Michael Jordan that. Fuck all of that. LeBron James is the greatest player of all time. LeBron James, LeBron James had tougher competition. 
LeBron James. I'm sorry. <laughs> just, just scoot up. Listen, 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 they're, listen, they're listen, going to listen, fight listen. me. They're going to fight me if I have to touch this, this, that's, this that's camera. Cool. It's cool. It's cool. Yeah, I got you. I got you. I'm going to. Sp- I'm going to speak up a little bit more. Right. So you mean to tell me that the teams that LeBron James had to go against in all of his championships, the Bulls had a tougher route? No, I'm not going to say the Bulls. I, you know who I'm going to say? I'm going to say the Magic Johnson led Lakers. Okay. I was gonna say by the way, by way who and who at, at every corner had to face teams with three Hall of Famers, not just two. Sometimes four and five. The Celtics that were on the other side of those Lakers teams mm-hmm. had five Hall of Famers on that team. Yeah. Okay. And by the way, three or four of them were in their prime of Hall of Famers. When you had Parrish, you had Bird, you had McHale, yeah. Dennis Johnson, yeah. Bill Walton. I, do I need to keep going down here? I, or am I do you have to? Yeah, I'm not a Michael Jordan guy. Watch your foot. Okay. Watch your foot. No, no, no. Watch your foot. <laughs> okay. We're good. Technical difficulties. Folks. Yes. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> this is how arguments go. I'm checking. Somebody get the tough turn for real. Okay. <laughs> so, but no, I, I'm, um, Rick, I'm not a Michael Jordan guy. Okay. Um, and don't get me wrong. I think Michael Jordan is on the, the Mount Rushmore, but he's not. He's not. He's not my goal. My goal is actually twofold. I go every now and then I fluctuate, but mostly it's Magic Johnson because Magic Johnson was able to play all five positions and not just as a fill-in, he can actually play all five positions. And my the second guy I go back and forth with is Kareem Abdul Jabbar, okay, who is as decorated as Michael Jordan. Because mm-hmm. people already talk about when well, Mike never lost the final, but the Bastard only made it to six. Yeah. Talk to the people who've been I, I put the broad up there with or, or over Mike for one reason. He's been to ten. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Get to 10 in order to lose. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so don't give me. And by the way, the first one he had, he dragged that Cleveland Cavaliers team to play yeah, that San Antonio first. He took Anderson. He on. He also he dropped 25 on a Pistons and the Pistons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, so yeah, 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 just to get just to get the championship. So so don't give. I love. I now I love Michael. First of all, I can't stand Michael Jordan. He hit that yeah, no, jump he, in 82 against my, my Georgetown Hoyas. I never forgave him, okay? <laughs> I also went to Maryland, and I watched him piss on my boys at Cold Field House, okay? Right, right. So, so, and then when he came in, what he did to the Wizards, we, I can't, yeah, I can't talk about, about, about that without using profanity, okay? I just can't talk about it. You, okay? you mean how he basically railroaded Carmen Brown's whole career oh, by verbally and, abusing him? Oh, the but that's not the worst. He traded Rick Hamilton for Jerry Stackhouse. By the way, you notice there's no letter D in Jerry Stackhouse? Because he doesn't know what D is. Well, okay. <laughs> again, that's one of those things that I had to deep I completely had to black, I, I blacked that out of my memory because going to watch Rip Hamilton go to Detroit and, and win, lead them to two championships when well, Michael Jordan traded him for Jerry. Jerry. So, so you're talking about Wizards North, right? The one that had Ben Wallace, Rasheed Wallace. Rip Hamilton. Let's go even deeper. Darvin Ham. He had a championship with him. So I got a question for y'all. Specifically talking about the LeBron versus Michael Jordan, I'm gonna slide Kobe in there. The greatest, the goat conversation. What qualifies R. 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 somebody? R.I.P. Kobe. Yes. Uh, what qualifies somebody to be the goat? What makes that person? What's gonna make that person, that individual, that's standing at the top of that Mount Rushmore? Well, according to Papa Royal, he likes the the basketball teams when they had short shorts. So Daisy Dukes apparently is a problem. <laughs> 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 <For> like, hey, <laughs> Man. <laughs> above, above the knees, the baseball time. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you why, bro. Real man wear tight shorts. Okay. <laughs> he likes he likes the Harlem Globetrotter. No, 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 we don't. <laughs> <laughs> the basketball spit on his fingers. Take the ball. I'm just saying that. No, okay, Trey, you asked what what makes the, a, a goat the goat. Yes. His, first of all, his ability to lift not just himself. But everyone around him. Now, Mike made some people better. I mean, he created a lot of open jumpers for the Steve Kerr's and BJ Armstrong's mm-hmm. in the world. He really did. And Mike is on the Mount Rushmore, even though I hate him. Okay. And by the way, he he just became a human being lately. 
Okay. Did he? <laughs> because, he, yeah, he yeah, because he had to. Did he though? <laughs> he, did, he did because it's popular. Yeah, exactly. exactly, exactly. <laughs> and he's trying to sell that motherfucking overpriced tequila. Yeah. And, and, and that tequila is actually pretty good. Hold yeah. up. This is the most saying the word John, John decides. So just yeah. just just give him yeah, give him yeah, the But like I said, just he, he has just recently became a human being. No, 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 no. Because Mike was a jackass and a, and a, by the way, anybody here read the Jordan rules? Mm-hmm. Okay, know. oh, I'm telling you something. When he was an asshole. Oh, he was a complete <laughs> asshole. Okay. Just a short story. He was signing basketballs one time. Uh they, they had a game the night before. And Stacey King, who was the power forward at the time for the for the Bulls. Had a game where he had no rebounds. And so Michael Jordan, signed in the basketball, not looking at Stacey King at all, said, hmm, a power forward with no rebounds. Would you really call that a power forward? More like a power list forward. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> even, yeah. even, even, on, uh, even on, what's the, the, the last, last dance? dance? Yeah, okay. yeah. Horace Grant. Yeah. Oh, well, everybody can get some heat. Not your ass for that. Like, who the, what? what? You know what? You're not gonna fucking tell me if I can't eat after a motherfucking game. Me and Mike, we would have had to throw hands. Hey, Bill, Bill Cartwright. I literally told niggas they can't eat no more. See, 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 Bill. After wrestling, listen, listen. (laughs) I'm just gonna go past that and tell them. (laughs) Y'all can't see me. And I'm pretty sure you've probably done it too in the same situation. I've never disrespected the team. Is wrestling? No. Bill Cartwright. Remember Bill Cartwright? Yes. Wrestling is different. Mike, we Mike, weren't even there. This Mike, was college. Hey, hey, he's talking. Mike, Mike, in practice one time, he flew through the lane and dunked on Bill Cartwright. And Bill Cartwright looked at him straight eye and said, "If you do that shit one more time, I'll end your career." Yes, sir. Okay, I'll end your career. Yes, sir. And Mike ain't never dunked on him no more. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Mike Steve Kerr actually yeah. was the fan that it wasn't We'll talk about yeah, that yeah, later. Yeah. He punched Steve Kerr in the face. Yeah. By the way, how you look? You 6'7", and you're going to punch a little scrawny well, white boy like that. I'm going to say you're the shortest, most non-athletic person on the damn team. And by the way, the white boy gave him some scrap, too. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Now, so yeah. you said what goes into being a goat. For me, it's the same thing. Making all the players around you greater. Brian has done it at every level. Every then we get, we get into it deeper. Brian, like the, the four guys that Brian played with in high school, they beat an Oak Hill team that was completely loaded on Stop. ESPN, now national television. Everybody on Oak Hill's team was going to a, a, a big-time program, right? right? Mm-hmm. Bron took four Bamas who basically, I think one of them worked no, down there. That's in the city. Anymore. The other one is at a grocery store. <laughs> they beat Oak Hill on ESPN. Bron did that in high school. Then, like I said, he's carried Anderson Virgil. Shaq, who J.R. Smith, J.R. Yeah. dumbass Smith, <laughs> still oh, not just okay. okay. oh, oh, J.R. Smith's father on national television said, "Y'all gotta understand, my son's stupid." <laughs> <laughs> he's carried okay. to a championship. He's carried all. He's carried all these people to championships. You know what I mean? He's had all. They called him King James in high school. Yeah. Now, see, and that's where he's where lived up to the hype. But that's yeah. but then that's my whole thing. That's a lot of pressure. But and, and we and, look at people who are seventeen year old. And, and then on top of that, you got to look at it like this. Just piggyback on what you're saying. If you had somebody who we when we found out about Jordan, Jordan didn't have, wasn't highly decorated like LeBron was coming out of high school. Mm-hmm. He was just he, he just came on as like a four or five star, mm-hmm. and then he produced in college. But what he, if, he, he, if, he, but, if he was if he was if he was playing now, if he was in his prime now, starting out. Or I mean, with the way the way to, uh, Twitter but, and, but and he didn't have the luxury of coming in under the radar yeah. in the beginning. Yeah. It wasn't until he hit that shot in '82, which, by the way, I still need him for. It wasn't, <laughs> until, it wasn't until he hit that shot that he became on the, because that North Carolina team he was on, Worthy, Perkins, yeah, Jimmy Black. I mean, Doherty, all that. I mean, he had that squad was laid. Okay, mm-hmm. so he did have the luxury. Of, no, and I know I cut you off again, but I'm sorry. Go ahead. So I, I was just I was just saying that if they, if he was if he was playing if they were playing head to head in the same time frame like if they both went to college at the same time do you think they would both re, would they get get to the point where they're both rivals in the finals? And, and I'm glad you brought that question up because I don't think Mike ever had a real rival on the other side. Oh. Okay, because Magic had Bird. Okay, Magic had Bird. He knew even if he got out the West, which was not always guaranteed. There was always going to be somebody. By the way, because you had the the Mike, uh, the Dr. J and Moses Malone Sixers on that other side as well. So he didn't. It wasn't just enough to get out the west, out the east. I mean, the west. He had to go see somebody on the east that was going to be formidable. Yeah. Mike, once he got out the east with, with that Brickland Nick team that he had to play. Okay, <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, I'm sorry. Uh, he ain't seen nobody. That's, 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 that's definitely where 
remember his yeah, last look, look, look at it though when the Bulls faced top tier talent, like teams that are loaded the way teams are loaded right now. Mm-hmm. What happened when they played the Magic with Shaq and Penny? Most. Yeah. But it, the yeah, Pacers, the Pacers, Pacers were the one. The Pacers had, had their asses on the ropes. Yeah, exactly. The Pacers was whooping the shit. Reggie Max. Miller was taking Mike ass to the woodshed. Yeah, and and Reggie hard. Miller crossover is about as fast as a 400 pounder running a 40. You know, <laughs> about, speaking of rivals, I think it was funny because when y'all years. think about the rivals and stuff like that in basketball, because Jordan didn't have any rivals, but I'm trying to remember. I think it was uh, Dennis no, Rodman. No, the Stop. I think it was Dennis Rodman that had. Uh, a rival with uh, Carl Malone because they had like that whole WCW yeah. Yeah. rivalry. Yeah. 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 Forget about this. Yo, Dennis Rodman took fucking bumps. Oh, no, no, no. But Carl Malone, Malone was, was, it too. was also a deeper beef with that. Exactly. Because Carl Malone was out here fucking 13 year olds when he was in college. Carl Malone's a bad person. Just to <laughs> back Man, uh, you know, uh, uh, so uh, I was uh, the one you were worried about. Or top, or top of Batman slander, I also specialize in Carl Malone slander. You're a piece of shit, and I want you to know that. And he ain't take care. And he ain't take care of his daughter. Okay, so, so his daughter wouldn't became a ball player. Okay? I mean, that's that's kind of scary though. But you know, we all talk about scary things since it's also Halloween. We got a few this left. Games. We got uh, we got to talk about like scary movies because it is October. Yeah. It's October. Whatever. Shocktober, Spooktober, Shocktober, whatever. Hey, it's scary. Like, all, all I'm saying is, like, we all we all have like these weird what? Um, I string a straight over from last week. Jesus, Rick. Yeah, he's not got that. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so ass crack bandit. <laughs> <laughs> so speaking of scary movies, we always been talking about like, because nowadays we've all seen them all like. Scary movies have like different subgenres and categories now. Uh-huh. So you got like the gore, you got like um, jump scares, jump scares yeah. and stuff like that. I think jump scares and, and suspense is under the same umbrella as horror, mm-hmm. and that's what's giving a lot of people the bad impressions of horror movies, mm-hmm. like okay. like Scream and I know what you did last um, summer and stuff like that, where they focus on jump scare stuff. Yeah, I think that like there was a scene where um, I think I don't remember which one it was. I think it was I know what you did last summer. It was one of them. And what are you waiting for? <laughs> I remember it vividly because it was Sorry. No, it's a scary movie for me. <laughs> no, no, no. Because, no. Jump! <laughs> and I know what you did last summer. What happened was there was a scene, and it was just so unnecessary. And at that point, I realized that the horror genre was just, I was done with it. Because, mm-hmm. like, they, I don't know, it was just like uh, they went to the person's house who was a person of interest yeah. uh, to get clues to see who was anything related to him. All I knew was that she was related to the person that's missing. Um, And then, like, they're in the car, and they're just like, oh, okay, the music's all, like, somber. And then the lady comes back and just starts banging on the window. She's like, you forgot your whatever. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to yeah, be yeah. like, and everybody in the theater just, oh! I'm looking at them, and I'm like, dude, you don't do that this, stereo. That's this is, is this scary? No, 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 no. All right, all right, all right. All right. <laughs> OCG oh, so good again. Oh, boy. We have been, you're going to love this one, Ben. What was What was it called? It was the video game. It was like Dump Die. Literally, the name of the game was like Dump Die or some shit like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And we were all in the theater. Oh, shit. You know what I'm talking, <laughs> I know what about. talking about. now. I'm back. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Like, we've been there. It, it was, was Dump Die in the Woods or something, but they were playing a video no, game. It was, it was a horror dope. video game, but they mapped the video game on a haunted house, and the spirit actually got into the game. And then we're sitting in the theater. And I'm just, I'm calling out everything in the fucking theater. Dude's running down the steps. He's going into the kitchen, getting some milk, milk. and everything. The milk. <laughs> the <laughs> he milk. got a glass of milk and the monster and the ghost is behind him. And I'm, I'm of course, I'm loud as fuck. <laughs> Throw the milk and run, nigga! <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm glad you pointed that out. He milk out of No, 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 Pops, Pops, peep game. Peep game. He refused to sit next to me that day. Because he was like, yeah, you know, we're just going to be yelling at each other the whole fucking movie. <laughs> he sat five rows down. And I'm sitting next to the woman that will be, yeah, you know, whatever. Stop. And then it's like, you know this movie's going to suck, right? Like, yeah, we both know it's going to suck. All three of us know so this movie's going to suck. Because we had fun. Oh, okay. We had fun. Then. We could just and do random shit. Like I that. feel <laughs> like Cam was there. Seems so long ago, right? <laughs> I feel like Cam was there. Probably I have no recollection of this. Oh, oh, well, all right. See, so Cam wasn't I, I, there. Cause see, I've never really gotten into horror movies. Cause like you, I'm going like, okay, y'all. It's like that Geico commercial where she says, "Why don't we just get in a running car?" Okay. <laughs> and yeah. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I 
Finish your story. <laughs> Throw the milk and run. <laughs> but I called and that nigga turned around. He saw he, he took off running. Nah, um, I don't know, man. It's just like I do. Yeah, I do love bad movies, but that's not. But it's horror movies. Like I, I, I still like watch horror movies. So if they want to call it that anymore, mm-hmm. um, like it's it's truly like they don't. I don't know. They just don't scare us anymore, man. Like. Like, so I, I think I think now I want more psychological yeah. things that are like fuck my head up. But one aspect of movies is from from even the beginning of I need somebody films. to say fuck Darren real quick. <laughs> fuck Darren, and I don't even know who you are. He's still good. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> fuck you, Darren. Sorry, <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> Listen, man. Anyway, but one one thing that's always stayed true with all <laughs> horror movies is the sound. Music play or music or just sounds in general play a big yeah. part. And how they, because you know, sound makes you feel. Sound resonates. It vibrates. We're we're seventy percent liquid. It vibrates through us. So certain, it's like seventy three percent. I don't know. Don't fucking start on me. I don't know. Ask Rick. But my point is, he was about five minutes ago. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> my point is that as as sound just transferred, even in the theaters, even when you're at home, it vibrates. It resonates with you at a different at a different tone, different mm-hmm. levels. We're good. And Certain certain sounds will make you feel certain ways. That so that's bad. why you have like that 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 uh what do they call it a cello sa- oh. shit like that oh, builds the Transformers up suspense. Or have you, that, have you that, seen the movie The Strangers? No, I haven't. The Strangers has no music. Ooh. There's no music, so it's just oh, tension. so it's all psychological. Oh. Just, I need to watch that it's now. Just all tension. Oh. Like you don't know what the fuck's about to happen because there are no music cues. It's just silence and then boom. You say right, you say but but that's like the jump scare that y'all were talking about. Right? Yeah, yeah, jump scare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I just don't get into horror movies. I never have. I mean, I did when I was a teenager because that was the way you take a girl to the movies and you can, you know, you can she get close up yeah, on you. Yeah, close up on you. So that was the only reason I watched. Hole in the bottom of my pocket. I mean, like. Not this guy. I don't know. We got slasher flicks. We, yeah. like, we got slasher flicks. Yeah. Uh, Not we this got guy. Gore. We got like suspense. Spe- yes, yeah, suspense. I was getting out. So, I, also, if but you can hear. It's not horror to me. Okay, suspense is, is different because. Well, it depends. It, 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 I think it depends because I mean so horror is monsters to me. Well, I don't think that horror, horror can be I, monsters. I, I, yeah, no, no, I want, I, want, I want to hear this. But no, to me, horror is is scary, jump out, slasher. They, suspense is like. You can watch a, 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 a movie that's suspenseful that has a great story, uh, and none of them, of course, are coming to mind right now because I'm under the influence. But the point is, <laughs> is that there are movies I found to be suspenseful where I'm at the edge of my seat, but they weren't scary movies. I'm just wondering how the story is going to open. So yeah. the reason why yeah. I put suspense—that's that's how I feel about pornography. <laughs> I swear to God. You know the same book we gave him last week. So, I think mean, it's, it's the reason why I'm huh? like, <laughs> Zoom! Zoom from now on! Yeah. <laughs> I said for live action. Oh, so, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It's a bar. So y'all forgot what I said earlier. <laughs> the, you know, the first yeah. Minute, you know? yeah. <laughs> We're way past that. We're way past that. <laughs> <We're so laughs> so you, know, you know what? Fuck it. Fuck y'all. I've missed you, niggas. We <laughs> missed you too. I have brought <laughs> new equipment. We we appreciate to make shit happen. So I love you. you. You know what? Stop. No. 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 You know You're I don't. Behind the scenes. I know I don't need you know I don't need praise. I'm telling you guys. Oh, I'm about praise. So, so, so <laughs> yeah. I thought he was all camera guy. He's still alive. But he's yeah, he's still alive. alive. He's still alive. <laughs> we got five minutes left. Anyway, so five minutes. So, five minutes, guys. So, you know, I thought you were so you know, it's in the horror genre. Yeah. Do you have like a favorite horror like movie monster or like? Well, let me tell you something. The last horror movie I really think I liked. Um, was the Exorcist, the original Exorcist. You know, and, you so know, you oh yeah, that sucks to me. Like, that, that, I, I, I can't no, that. that's, that's a horror movie. I think that was uh, a horror movie because you dealt with that the devil. Comes on, and, well, she comes down the stairs. But, but on top of that, which is the weird thing with me, was that it also was hilarious to me. Okay? I mean, I really thought it was funny, man. I really thought it was funny. I like this guy. <laughs> <laughs> because when she starts spinning her head around and all that, she's doing her own thing. And I'm like, okay, I, that's some funny <laughs> shit. Okay? <laughs> To me. And by the way, I had had about twelve beers before I went to the movie. <laughs> so, so I was just I was about it. twelve when I first got <laughs> on. Yeah. So, and and yeah. you know, on top of that, now the, with the bullets back then, because this was in the seventies, okay, oh, okay. Was that and the bullets was playing the San Antonio Spurs 
And that was the series that y'all weren't even born before. Yeah, yeah. They, the, the, the Bulls were down 3-1 to the Spurs, and they came back to beat them in seven games. And in game seven, we were at the movies watching the re-release of The Exorcist. And I couldn't stand it. I had to go find out what was going on in the game. So I went to go find out what was going on in the game, and then I tell my boys, hey, man, the Bulls are winning. And then I hear something from the other side of the movie. What's the score, dude? <laughs> so I tell the score, and another one coming. Hey, well, how much time left? <laughs> and these guys on dates with detention, whatever. <laughs> they asked me about the game. <laughs> so, so you know, it was a great time. But that was the. I thought that movie had some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, we yeah, had you. Yeah, it, it was not even. You couldn't even buy a yeah. floppy disc back then. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, 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 what's, what's your uh, what's your movie monster? Man? I don't think I had a chance to go yet. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I feel like somebody here is actually going to agree with me. It's going to have the same as mine. So I'm, I'm about to punch person. you. I'm, I'm about to punch, punch you. I'm about shut up! Punch. Shut up! <laughs> we did this ahead of shut time. Shut up! So we wouldn't do this. <laughs> I'm going to let that person speak because I actually forgot because I'm actually kind of toasting myself. So, But that's the first thing that came to mind. So we go ahead. Finish the ball, go ahead. <laughs> you want to go? No, no. no I, I All right. Okay. I, I think All right. So because if you are behind you it. don't know, yeah, there's definitely a story behind it. If you don't know, I have a phobia, which is basically the phobia of snakes, things that oh, slither. Oh, there you go. Same here. So, uh, yeah, I ain't drunk. So, um, why not? I, my my movie monster that terrifies me to my core is Anaconda and Anacondas. I had to go on dates to watch these movies with girlfriends. And they forced me to go. Yeah. And I screamed like a little bitch the entire time. <laughs> Two different relationships, yeah. but they wanted to say, oh, you're big, you're strong, you can handle it, you can manage it, yeah. you'll be okay. And then, later on in life, one of my best friends decides to force me to watch Snakes on a Fucking Plane. Which is my, my So, movie. any Snakes in a Fucking Movie, <laughs> fuck me up. <laughs> I'm tired of motherfucking snakes on this motherfucking plane. And if you didn't know, at the end of Snakes on the Plane, there's an after credit scene. There's an after credit scene <laughs> that I wasn't prepared for. So after sitting through this entire fucking movie that my be- one of my best friends decided to tell me to watch, he was like, no, nah, no, nah, Samuel Jackson actually has something to say at the end of the movie. Watch this. Watch this. Watch, no, watch, watch this. Stop watch this. this. <laughs> my bad. My He's bad. Take another shot. So much pain. He is. My bad. I totally do apologize. <laughs> but I'm sitting there, and after the credits roll, he's like, look, 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 look. And I'm looking, and the fucking snake snaps his fucking mouth at the screen. So, yeah, damn, they pissed myself. It gets better. Snakes. It gets, it gets better. Because after after he did his jump scan, he, then, he, then, he, then he managed, like, yeah, all right, I finished watching the movie. I'm good. And he sits down. I'm on the couch. I'm like, I will do it to her. Yeah. Yeah, I go, I go, fuck! You cold as ice, bro. You know what, though? Only friends can do that. Yeah. Only real ones at home. 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 That's what you do with your boys. Okay? That's, that's, you know, that's why he was hitting me on this whole time because he's having flashbacks. That made us go, that hurt! Now, yeah. Yeah, see, bad, I, I don't understand the snake yeah. thing. I mean, my, my only real fear is heights. You know, yeah. I mean, that's my, that's my. Yeah. That so oh, 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 and marriage. Okay. And marriage. <laughs> <laughs> can, I, can I ask you a question about heights? Sure, sure, sure. You got one? All right. So if you go that high with it, huh? why? Why are you taking that option? If well, you're afraid of heights. No, there's no other way to get to certain places in this world without getting on a plane. Yeah, you know, so, or that, oh, that, that, that oh, I'm willing oh. to do. Okay, okay all right. That's why I say I'm not right But see, the anime I carried my bag that I offered you earlier. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I keep, you know, I, I take an Ativan, a little bit of no, you know, no, stash no. or whatever, and uh, and every now and then maybe even an edible. Okay. Also, you know, I need you to stop offering me yeah. stuff on camera. Okay. <laughs> but Pete Game. Yeah, that's the big concern people are gonna have. Is that but no, 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 no. Pete Game, Pete Game, Pete Game. Um, when I hear people say they have a fear of heights, mm-hmm. the only thing I could think of actually being afraid of in this life. Who isn't tattooed on my arm? No. Would be drowning or uh, being burned alive or eaten alive. Why is it height? Because I can't fly. You also have no control. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I have no, no I'm, control. I'm trying. I'm being real with you. Because, for instance, if I was on a cruise ship, 
I'm not afraid as I as as um, because I can swim, or they can give me a flotation device or something you gotta, like that. You got to spend money to get there. Yeah, well, okay. yeah, I, I could, yeah. But again, he can have the lifeboat. Yeah. Life I mean, once again, I already, already said I've never thought about the airplane. Yeah. See, you know, yeah. you, if you, you call, know the biggest mystery I've never I thought about. The biggest call. question I always have is this: Why on an airplane are you gonna give me a flotation device? Give me a damn parachute. <laughs> <laughs> Well, they can't. If, depending on where the cabin opens, opens. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I know they're the just. Yeah. Here. But coming down from thirty thousand feet, if I survive, you know, you know, I mean, hey, give me I, what's that, what's that always. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Always. The flotation device didn't help those people in that plane with a home. Ah. Yeah. I didn't take the laser. <laughs> you know, history, 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 history. history of cameras because I mean, that chick take all that stuff. Yeah. You realize that's your man's though. What was that? Homeland. Oh no, I love Homeland. Yes, that's your that's your that's man's. Superman. Exactly. I mean, oh, I, I, Superman's. The y'all American need country. to read Irredeemable. I, that's your next. That's the next one. That's your next. Irredeemable. That's the next one. Superman. No, it's the coming out. Um, Homeland um, is the American reality. They're making Irredeemable. Yeah. They're making. I think it's on. Well, Brightburn. Hey. No, um, no, no. They already made Brightburn. Can we, we can do a They're making Irredeemable on. Yeah. That needs to be. Yeah. I'm just elevating my. Oh, y'all can No, 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 no. They made. They're making Irredeemable on. Um, they're making Invincible on Amazon Prime. Invincible. Uh, that's now Invincible thing. is is super, yeah. technically Superman's son. Oh, I can't. Fuck. Fuck. Give me way too All right. Um. Okay. So. So yeah. By the way, right. though, nah, I don't have one. I, I, I like, like I said, I just, happy to be back together. I yeah. did. We, no, we we don't. I'm sorry, Rick's got one. Go ahead. Yes. Rick. My scary movie monster is Richard Nixon and Black Dynamite. <laughs> 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 That is terrible. Nick, can you do you already know how scary Richard Nixon was? He almost sold this to the Chinese. Hey, no, I was I was alive then, 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 okay? I, and then, look, and then you teach him karate? <laughs> that, is, that is horrifying. Oh, it's not like but Donald yeah, Trump yeah. is way more horrifying than so, Richard so, Nixon. So, 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 so was the Watchmen oh, world film to you? <laughs> so pretty much. With that said, before Nick, we you're talking to the here. comedian. Basically. No, no, but if Richard Nixon was the president throughout the yeah. entire presidency, yeah. and then and then some throughout the yeah, entire life. Yeah. So yes. with that said, yeah, uh, he was a he thank was you guys for joining us here on Blurs and Whiskey. Yeah. Always, always, always like, share, subscribe. Make sure you check out our Facebook page, uh, fan page, the website blursandwhiskey.com. Um, but like I was saying earlier, Pokemon. I really want to see where you guys go with this. So if you have a Pokemon, tag each individual um, member of the show. Uh, like he would be Haunter off camera guy because you can't fucking see him. So yeah, yeah, I went there. Do yeah, that. I'm Black Noir. Don't don't play me. Yeah, that, that's, that's, that's I'm not dealing with. I don't give not, a fuck about not, Pokemon. Just, 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 you know what? You know what? So we have. I said so 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 he wasn't Snorlax. By the way, we also like I said, have you done YouTube yet? No. no. So yeah, well, look us up on YouTube too. You can search yeah. Blurs and Whiskey. You can find his page. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit that little bell button so you can get the notification so you can check on things like. Herb's comic book journey. Um, our clip of the weeks when we upload that uh, shows like this after I finish editing. We look a lot more oh, missing than yeah. love. <laughs> we look, look at everybody. Yeah. I appreciate y'all. I definitely yeah. appreciate y'all. Give me like five minutes left of the show after you get it. Follow, 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 follow us on Twitch. Yeah, yeah, and also, Twitch. like I said, Twitch, like, share, subscribe. Yeah, gotta share. Gotta share. Gotta share. I see Twitter, Twitter, all that. All Twitter. So you see us on Twitter. We, yeah. You know, I post funny stuff. Uh, Mr. B and W. On Twitter, we all have different Twitter handles. We all post stuff like that. We're all pretty everywhere. inter- entertaining. Um, Even my, mine's like not that. for the screen, you know, for the weak at heart. So just keep that in mind. You know, yeah. my, mine just just, just give them the dot com, bro. So yeah. blurbsandwhiskey.com. You can find all those links there. Yeah. So Herb, as we always do, up to, up to it, it, down to it. Fuck those, those who don't, don't do it. it. We, we do it because we used to it. it. Drink, motherfucker, drink. drink. Stay healthy. Know.